I got to get out of this shop. That's it. I'm going to the river. That's all there is to it. I'm taking a break. I'm taking. I'm forcing a day off. That's it. Day off. We're out of here. We're going. See ya. I made it I made it bug heaven or bug hell uh, I don't know on the way in here through the woods <laughs> but July 20th forced day off I am still alive I've just been extremely extremely busy it's a good complaint to have but anyway back at the hole it has not stormed heavy to fill it back in again so I'm gonna keep working this thing get as much as I can out of it Keep working it back. Uh, hopefully I can block off water flow enough to get a set up here as I usually do and just keep working this right back. Get some gold. And it's gonna be hot today. Jump in the water, cool off. All right, time to get busy. So, I had to build one heck of a wing dam to get a good setup, and I've been running for a while. I've brought this back even further, and down, and right down in there, there's some serious, well, there's a lot of heavy black sand in here, period. But right, right about down in there, I should have some, you know, I got good points too, you know. I just gotta use my finger, like Jason. So, um, anyway. <laughs> right down in there. I'm supposed to have, what did you say, Wayne? A pink pointer or something? I didn't bring one. I, I didn't bring one. Um, like right, right down in there. <laughs> now I'm stealing Jason's material. <laughs> All right, forgive me, everybody. I'm having fun. I'm taking a day off, all right? So just let me have fun. So I'm going to do a clean out, all right? That's, that's what this boils down to. Um, but I'm not done. I'm just going to do a clean out to see what I'm getting into here. And I did do I did do a little bit down here, too, right in this bedrock spot right through here. There's some pretty good black sands. A lot of that red, like creamy reddish looking clay, lighter color, and then some of the stuff I've dug out of here was so red and rusty, it was just unreal. So, I'm gonna do a clean out. I can't really, uh, maybe I can shoot it, but we'll see. 
Catch you in a bit. This box is headed to Georgia. You'll be seeing BJ the Crow run it pretty soon. I'm giving myself an upgrade. And he asked me if I ever had one that I could sell to him at a lesser price, because let's face it, things are tight these days. Not everybody can afford to spend $419. My tubes are clear. Stick my hand inside there and give that a good wash. What you get from the material, look at all that tender black sand in there. It's gold. It's gold, I tell you. Alright, so I'm pulling this stuff out of there. Big old pieces of hematite. And it's not iron, it is not magnetic, but it's extremely heavy. I'm gonna pan this right back in the hole. For all you people that are always saying to me, oh, use a catch pan, use a safety pan. Pan it right back where you're working, and if you lose any, you're going to get it again anyway. Let's speed this up, shall we? There, if I lost any gold, it's going to be right there. No big deal. Just keep your pants on. <laughs> Alright. So. It's not too bad for about an hour and a half, if that. Probably about 75 pieces. 
But, like I said, I'm not dumb. Yeah, so I'm still running. After I did that last clean out, um, I did some poking around. I tested right around the corner of this rock over here. You see the bedrock. There's capture points. And then there's like a pit over in here. So I did a test pan over there, didn't get anything. And then I cleaned out that I just panned. But over here, I uh, started feeding the trap with material I, I dug out of this in here and up in here and up in there. And even though that's sand, look at these big boulders. And I was finding hematite in here too, that heavy stuff I showed you. So I, I ran all this material, probably about three, maybe two and a half, three, five gallon buckets through the gold trap and did a clean out. I got about 10, 30 mesh pieces and some small stuff with it. And then I went for a swim. I've done that a few times today. <laughs> And I'm going to be doing it again pretty soon here. But after that, I uh, started running again in this hole. And I pushed it back even further that way and quite a bit further that way. And now I'm working down and back. So I've been running for quite a while just working on this. And I've run a lot of material, a lot of material. So I'm quite anxious to see what's going on inside there. Alright, so I thought I'd give you a little update of what I've been doing. And this is where I I dug a little bit of this out too, a lot of black sand in there. But all of this is that really, really coarse, coarse black sand all the way down through here. And of course, what I was doing over there is pretty much in line with it. But like I said, look at these big boulders that have dropped out through here. And of course, you've got different flood stages too. And depending on the the level of the water is where your pay streak's going to be and where heavies are dropping out. So there's, you know, there's more than one pay streak in any given gravel bar or, in this case, boulder bar. Because I mean, this, I mean, this is bony. This is bony. Dingus, you should be, uh, you should be proud of me, brother. I'm working my way back up the boulder bar. Don't know how far I'll get. I mean, one storm comes through here in high water, it's going to fill this in, but... And as busy as I've been, trying to keep up with orders and build up my stock, my inventory, I start to get it built up and <laughs> more orders come in. <laughs> eh, whatever. That's good. That's good. That's a good thing. It's a good thing. Just like to get... Uh, get a good stockpile of them be nice but anyway so I'm gonna keep digging catch you in a bit might have a little chat about dredging here pretty quick too and sluicing which that is not a sluice that is a classifier a legal definition of a sluice is something that has riffles something that has a gate to control water flow and something that is long as in hundreds of feet so I've said it before I'll say it again what on the market today is a sluice considering two two out of three of the the definitions do not exist on any given sluice box so they call them they don't have a gate and they're not hundreds of feet long many of them have riffles but they're lacking two key elements but anyway Back to work. Alright, so what I wanted to talk to you about was first I want to tell you why 
dredging was banned in the state of Vermont. There was a, a lawmaker, his name was David Dean, or name is David Dean. He's no longer in office. He was the head chair for, I guess, your environmental, your water stuff, your uh, fishing game. Um, he was the head chair, the head lawmaker for all of the uh, state of Vermont when it comes to this. Well, he also owns a fishing shop. He's into fly fishing, but he, you know, he sold all fishing equipment. So he also took people out on tour, on guided tours or guided fishing trips or fly fishing to teach them how to fly fish or out-of-staters he would bring them to Vermont rivers and they'd pay him and he'd show them where to go. So one day he goes to his river and his fishing hole and he comes across two legally permitted dredgers. This was back when dredging was allowed to stay in pond. So he got all bent out of shape. He went back to the state house and used his power to put a ban on dredging. He said that they were there without permission, which was wrong. They had written permission to be there. They had a permit. He said that they were trashing everything. Wrong. They were actually cleaning up the rivers because even with what we do, I mean, all you guys out there that just pan, you find lead, you find garbage, you pack it out. That's what we do. We clean up the rivers. So running this thing, I find lead sinkers all the time. I don't put them back in the river. I take them out. And I need to start showing them. As a matter of fact, there's a piece of trash over here I got to take out today that I undug in this hole. So I'm going to put a link in the description because we've got a we've got a uh, petition going on right now. Now what we need, we need as many signatures as we can get. I mean, I'm a Vermont prospector calling out on all of you prospectors to help a prospector out, to help the Vermont prospectors out. I mean, mention it in your videos. Make this thing go viral. What we really need is more Vermont signatures. So if you know people in Vermont, let them know. Or, you know, mention that, mention that when you when you talk about it. I'd really appreciate that. Now, this is being headed up by uh, Appalachian Prospectors. Shout out to Appalachian Prospectors. Uh, um, Prospector Jack and Hillbilly John, they're doing all the work. Prospector Jack has thousands and thousands and thousands of pages of document, got documented proof that dredging is actually green technology. Why? Because it takes the garbage out of the river and fish like it. So um, that's really what I wanted to talk to you about. And I'd really appreciate it if you help us out, help Vermont prospectors. Let's get this thing up and off the ground because we can't be lying down. We can't just sit here and let these lawmakers continue to have all this power. They have power because people just say, oh, we better off, we better off just to leave that alone. We've been mind melted into thinking that we have no say. Look, were we the people? We are their bosses. It's not the other way around. They don't, they don't dictate to us. Yeah, they make the laws. We vote them in and we can vote them out. So I think it's high time that we start really paying attention to who's on the ticket. You know, are they going to be against or for what we do? <clears throat> we need to look at this stuff. We need to really start looking at this stuff. And let's just not let them in there. And those that are in there that are against it, against us saying that we trash things and we don't, let's get them out of there. Let's get them out of there. Make this thing go viral. Let's talk about it, you know? Show on your videos that you're taking trash out, that you're helping the environment, that you're helping the rivers, that, that what we do actually helps the fish. When I'm digging, there's fish in here, little minnows, and they're going after the food because we're stirring it up. You know, it's just a bunch of lies. It's all a bunch of lies. That their laws are based on fiction, not facts. And it's high time that lawmakers start bringing laws into motion that are based on facts, not fiction. So that's all I wanted to talk to you about. I'd really appreciate it if you'd help us out. 
I'll try to, I have the document that shows the letter proving that David Dean did what he did. <coughs> if there's some way that I can put it in this video or in the description down below as an attachment or something, I'll put it in there so you can read it. It should make you pretty disgusted. You know, they, they shouldn't be able to do that. And the woman in the state house that put him in power, she was confronted about that. And when confronted, she said, well, what do you want me to do about it? And the, one of the guys, one of the dredgers said, I want him removed. She says, oh, I can't do that. I put him in there. So he was allowed to stay. Well, anyway, so that's all I want to say for now. I thank you for your help. Appalachian Prospectors, thank you for your help. And let's get this thing off the ground. Now I'm going to go back to looking for some gold. Take care. Alright, bird's eye view at the end of the day. Without a come along, that ain't going anywhere. That's wedged in bedrock somehow. But there's a lot of clay in here, false bedrock on top of bedrock. And I got this punched way back over in here. So, I'm going to do a clean out. I'll let you know what comes of it and I'll show you what I got for the day total. And then that'll conclude, what is it, what did I say, the 20th? Yeah, I think it's the 20th. I don't know. I'm, it's a day off. That's what it is. So I'll get back in a minute here. Alright, so losing daylight. Oh, damn bugs. Whenever you're trying to pan, the little gnats, they got to fly in your eyeball. So not as good as I figured. Nothing really big, but there again, I mean, even the small stuff's chunky. So that's not too bad. And I'll dump out the rest in a sec here. Okay. Total for the day. Yeah. Not too bad. Alright. So, got to pick everything up. Take my water shoes off, get my sneakers back on, and hike out of here. So, it was a great day off. We are gone.